Merlis Action has this problem where it makes uh, MP4 videos that don't work with Sony Vegas as long as this uh, this setting is checked. Uh, to demonstrate, it looks something like this. So you have no video track, but you have these audio tracks. However, the video track is present. Uh, it is there. It's just not showing on Sony Vegas. So there's a couple of workarounds for this, and I'm going to go through... Uh, each of them, but I'll start with the worst one. I'll end with the best one um, So basically the worst one that people suggest is using uh, is deleting compound plug that DLL uh, You delete it you rename it whatever it's located in in this directory um, For Sony Vegas Now the problem with this uh, with this workaround is once you put a video file in it will read and it will show but it's going to incorrectly read that um, that videos FPS so I believe a 60 FPS video for me became like 100 FPS. And when I rendered a final project without compound plug uh, present, um, it was like the video was kind of jerky and it just didn't look right. So this is not a valid solution as it, uh, it degrades the video quality. So let's throw that out. Uh, now the next solution is uh, using my MP4 box GUI. Uh, and you can put the video track in here and you can demux it into um, the video and the two audio tracks and then you can join them back together okay and this does have batch operations but it's a bit too lengthy and it's a bit too complicated to deal with so it's not something i want to do uh when i'm trying to make something you know i'm just trying to make it i'm not trying to deal with all of this stuff uh, so then that takes us to 10 coder and 10 coder is cool and it's almost perfect um, because it can batch a whole bunch of files. You can just drag a whole list of them in here and it'll take care of all of them. Um, and it, it's instant also. But you lose one audio track. There's no way with this program to keep both audio tracks. Which is just too bad because, you know, that's the whole point of this is to have that in a separate audio track. Uh, so this brings us to the final um, workaround which is using FFmpeg. So what you do is you go to FFmpeg here, you download a Windows version, click on this thing, uh, click on this, you know, and you download it. And what you have is, um, where's it at? What you have is this, you know, once you extract it. And basically once you extract it, go in here, get FFmpeg.exe, copy it over and put it into a folder here and make a new bat, a bat file that, um, that reads this and you can actually just copy and paste that in fact I'm just gonna zip this whole thing up and you can download the zip alright it's a 7 zip alright it's not the 90s anymore we're using 7 zips anyway uh, you make a bat like this right and you make a folder an empty remux folder like this and then you go over and you just grab a whole bunch of videos right just all of them uh, and you, and you um, move them over to this folder and you double click on remooks.bat <clears throat> and as you can see it very quickly uh, what it does is it says for all the mp4s in this folder uh, do this ffmpeg whatever uh, it, it copies the video and it copies all the sounds and it puts with the same file name uh, into remux you know into the remux folder so this is finished and as you can see, we've got the same uh, six items as here. 2.31 gigabytes, 2.31 gigabytes. And to demonstrate that this actually works, I'll uh, drag and drop this into here. So this is uh, 1745. Grab this 1745, dra uh, drag and drop it right next to it. And as you can see, it's the same, um, it's the same length. It's the same peaks, and um, but this file has a video track. So once you've done that, you know you can go ahead and you can delete all of these. Um. So that's about it. Uh, if you liked it, you know, give it a thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment. That's gonna help other people find this uh, video. Also, and help them solve their problem. Uh, also, you might want to check out. I got this guide that's basically about getting uh, the best video quality that you can have on YouTube, and it's using some. Uh, mathematical scientific stuff behind it so uh, check that out too it's pretty nice um, you know with this and that mixed together man you'll be unstoppable